Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Admiral Cisco back at you. Um, back in December, Simon Parks did a video. Um, he did a live presentation at a conference um, over in England in his home country called Deeper Truths Conference Connecting Consciousness. Of course, it's with Simon Parks. And there was two other speakers in the beginning. Um, there was another woman, I can't remember her name, did a review of this video also. I've been real backed up um, and I hadn't had time to get a hold of it, but I thought this was really interesting what he had to say. Um, because it's very true, but you know, uh, I, I was surprised he even went there. But um, I'm gonna let you guys hear it, and then I'm going to give a very small uh, two cent commentary after I'm done. Here we go. And this this small clip starts at video time index uh, 107 by 38. Listen carefully. It's not widely known that something like 35 to 40 percent of everything, everything made in the United States of America is made where? Prison. Between 30 and 40 percent of everything manufactured in the United States for the internal market is, is created in prisons. That's why gang culture was pushed by the elite black people seeing gold chains, um, the white man wasn't giving them any money, so now they can go and sell drugs, they can go and do this. The drugs they're selling is not being uh, authorized by government. So therefore government will come down on them because there's no cut to government. That's why they want these young black men in the penitentiaries, it's slave labor. You know, hey, the, the, cotton, the cotton pickers were set free, weren't they? So what does the greatest country in the world do? It needs new slaves. We can't call them that. It's not right anymore. We still want the black people to be slaves, but I know what we'll do. We'll pay them a little bit of pocket money, but they're not coming in. How do we get them in? I know we'll use media, get them involved in drugs, get them fighting, and we'll get them and we'll arrest them. That's the reality. Okay, that's all that, uh, that's all he pretty much, uh, that's all he pretty much said about uh, black people and speaking on the American prison uh, industrial complex. Uh, as far as it goes with my two cent commentary, all I'm going to say about that is he is 100% uh, spot on right. Uh, again, I am somewhat shocked and stunned that he went there speaking on blacks at a conference. And the only theory that I have is... Uh, Again, and I'm not trying to bolster brag, but I'm just going to tell it like it is. Somebody must be telling him about my videos and that, and how he has a big time critic on uh, YouTube. You know, and rightfully so, because you contactees don't mention other cultures, uh, uh, galactic origins, histories, or anything. You know, and that is extremely inappropriate in the times we're living in. The audience is way too fucking big now for you guys to continuously speak on the same redundant ass shit we've heard for like the last 20 years or so uh, or more. But uh, anyway, um, I just want to point that out that that was amazing that he would bring that up. Uh, people uh, that don't live in the United States all across the world, what Simon Park said in this one particular video is... Uh, not a hundred, a thousand percent spot on right. This is the uh, this is the fucked up shit in reality that that's for blacks in America, uh, especially the ones that come from um, the broken low income uh, uh, section. Um, it, it's it's a cluster fucking. It needs to be fixed. You know, I don't know how it's going to be fixed, but it has to be fixed, and it needs to be fixed. You know. Um, but uh, he's right about that. That's one thing I can give him kudos on. Uh, also, I can give him kudos on this video. Um, five star video clip, outstanding. You know, and like I say, I'm his number one critic, and I'm always staying on his ass for the shit that he ducks and dodge. Uh, dodge. It's like the recent um, uh, video with Meghan Markle and not wanting to speak on her. You know, and I was right about that all along. 
but I got attacked online about it. But, you know, it doesn't matter to me. You know, um, it's not going to make or break me. But uh, he spoke on this and, you know, why he decided to, I have no idea. But I think the pressure is on him. I think he knows somebody's telling him, look, you got critics on YouTube. Why aren't you speaking about other cultures? You just need to just come out and, and um, tell the people. I can handle it. You know, I don't quite sure other black people can handle it also. We've been handling a whole lot of horse shit for the last 400 years any old fucking kind of way. Anyway, this is, uh, uh, this is another video uh, analysis by Admiral Sisko signing off.